video for this Amazon challenge. And I'm extremely excited for this part because this video is on the shoes, the Skechers. Um, thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you like, subscribe. It's not a request, it's a requirement. Make sure you hit that notification button because more videos will be on the way. I'm, I'm starting to get more consistent. I know, you're welcome. Um, leave a comment because I love to hear y'all suggestions or any feedback you got on my videos. Um, now, let's get into the, the price breakdown. For the sketches I paid $41 for. Now I'm gonna be painting these shoes. So I got Angelus paint. I got matte acrylic finisher for $407. Leather the glazer for $395. Pale Blue Paint for $2.95. Angeles Georgia Peach for $2.95. Duller for $4.25. And then I got Angeles Flat White Paint for $2.95. And those are all the stuff I got from Angeles. And I also got some stuff from Joann's. Um, if you have this stuff at your, at your house, I mean, you don't really have to go out and buy, but I didn't have it in... Joann's is having a good deal. That's the thing y'all need to realize. Go to Joann's, sign up for the little coupon, and all that kind of stuff. I used to work there, but you get good deals because I got a pack of paintbrushes for, what is this? For, I think it says $4.99. And I think they're originally $10. I think I got 60% off of that. And then I got some little, uh, some little uh, paint little mixers or whatever for um what does it say i can't even read this bro i think th oh 389 so let's get to it all right first what you want to do is take out the shoelaces and then get your deglazer and spread it all around the whole shoe. I used the, at first I used the napkin, that didn't work, it was just, it was terrible. Then I used a paper towel and that worked a little bit better. But you should use cotton balls for this or like a rag or something like that. Um, and please be careful if there's like ink or lettering on your shoe, like for instance right here. I did not know that the glazer takes that off and it did and uh, it, just messed, it just messed it up. But I fixed it. And you'll see how I fixed it later on in this video, but just make sure you don't do what I did. All right, after you have your shoe deglazed, what you're gonna do is just take some scotch tape and tape around the parts that you don't want to get painted and please do not get lazy on this step like i did i only did like one part of the shoe which i i was painting more and a good idea is to just paint around and not really worry about it being too straight on the lines and just take an exacto knife and just carve out that edge so you'll have a sharper line All right, you guys, here comes the fun part, and that is the painting process. Um, 
For the paint, I did about half and half, um, half white and then half that pale blue. And then I added like a little droplet of duller in it and then mixed it up. And for painting, painting to me is, is fairly easy as long as you're, you, you taped around the spots that should not be painted. And it's just about going in the same direction and not really going in sporadic directions and stuff like that. So just as long as you go in the same direction and add an even coat to it, it will be fine. And then after you do that first layer, you hit it with a hair dryer or your or your heat little heat gun and then add another layer on it. I've noticed that me when I first start, the first layer isn't as even. And then once I heat it and then do it again, I get an even coat on it. But that's just that would uh, get better with practice. All right, now that I got everything painted, I'm going to be adding this suede-like fabric to the little middle part of the shoe. Um, and what I'm doing is creating the pattern. So I'm taking some scotch tape and I'm taping all around the part that I want that fabric to be placed at. And then I'm carving it out with my X-Acto knife. And then after that, I'm just gonna place it on the piece of fabric and then cut it out. And I'm doing that for that side and then the other side and they're different, so you're gonna to have to do the same process for that other side because it's a different shape. And then I did the toe box as well. Now after I cut out the pattern for that suede material, I glued it on and then this is just me having fun and trying to be creative with what I should do. I just, I took a little strip of that suede and I and it, and it frays a lot. So 
all I did was fray it a little bit and then twist it. And then there's like this little groove along a little bit above the sole. And then I just glued it on there. But um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It's not a request. It's a requirement. Leave a comment for any future videos you'd like me to do. My name is Trevor. And we out. Hey, Trevor. for the weekend. Free sign, I sip on to ease all my demons. I'm so bossy. Call me Brit Brit. Shrimp, steak, lobster on the menu for Dindin. Out rhyme, mini dun dotty, you came with. Crocodile teeth on the frog, that's a cayman. And I've been fucking rapping since Cuddy was on that solo.